Hello friends and welcome. I'm Mike Birmingham and this is the 26th edition of the Miscellany for 2021. Good to have you with us and this week we see some Titanic comparisons. Reuse an old teapot, see a rock music influence street sign, watch a lilac chase illusion and also see a scammer get scammed back. First our brain teaser asks us, six copycats were sitting in a boat. One of those copycats jumped out. How many were left? I would think the answer to come at the end. To some vintage pictures now. It might be hard to imagine a world without TV, but back in 1931, if you wanted or could afford it, radio would have been your go-to choice for entertainment over the airwaves. This picture shows a Philco 90 cathedral style radio from that year of 1931. 21 years later, TV had arrived, at least in the United States. In this picture, we see a young man posing to a brand new 1952 television set in the state of Oregon. The following year, in 1953, now the motor car was everywhere by the 1950s, unless you prefer the old style horse and buggy, or in the case of legendary artist Salvador Dali, traveling on a carriage drawn by your own goat. And now to world of mystery. Have you ever wondered how big the ocean liner Titanic is compared to other vessels? Well, here are two comparisons. First, a US aircraft carrier and next, a modern cruise ship. Those made me look twice when I first saw them, how things have changed. Next, how good is your eyesight? Mine, not as good as it used to be. One of those signs of getting older, but you can't have everything. Well, better than mine, I suspect, anyway. However, the human eye can see between 430 to 770 terahertz. Our ears can only detect sounds between 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz. This range makes up a fraction of the total sound and light spectrum and frequency range. It also means there's probably a lot going on around us that we don't detect because of the limitations of our sight and hearing. So it's no wonder that certain people act as conduits or channels and are able to see beyond these ranges from time to time. I'm not sure I'd want to myself, to be totally honest. I reckon if we could see and hear all that extra stuff, uh, we'd be seeing ghosts and spirits and whatnot and hearing all manner of strange stuff. So uh, yeah, prefer to keep it simple. Earth watch. The phrase goes, reduce, reuse, and recycle. Here's a novel idea for an old teapot that doubles up as a bird shelter, complete with its own drainage system. Many things are like that that we have lying around that can be repurposed for something else. And that is just one great idea of that. To some nostalgia from Ireland now, Some events from this week back in time include June 28th, 1939, Pan America's Yankee Clipper lands at Foyne's Flying Boat Base, inaugurating the first scheduled airmail service. To July 1st, 1924, the Irish Free State Air Corps is established. 1979, on July 1st, the Boomtown Rats featuring Bob Geldof enter the British charts at number 13 with I Don't Like Mondays eventually reaching the coveted number one spot. And July 2nd, 1957, another number one, it's Bridie Gallagher reaching number one in the Irish charts with the boys from the County Armagh. Question of the week now. Are there any instances of street signs being continuously stolen? Well, in the year 2000, the city hall of a village in the south of Madrid called La Carnes decided to name a street sign after the rock band ACDC. So there in Laganas, they went and put a plate with ACDC up and the lightning bolt was on it and all. High in a corner of the street no less, which is how it's done in Spain. With the names of streets, it can look quite a shock. 
as the street appeared in the newspapers because of the time streets were normally named after local personalities like mayors and writers and musicians of the past certainly not australian rock groups but there was a big big problem many in lagahanez in the surrounding area were big fans of angus and co of acdc and most of them wanted that very sign in their living rooms so even if the fact that i was high on the wall mattered not the plate got stolen over and over again uh, sunday morning the plate just wasn't there another was made and put in its place gone the following week the next saturday the same result and again and again so in the end the mayor of lagahnes the man who is featured in the pictures with a moustache decided to take action commissioning some hundreds of plates of the acdc street exactly identical to the model had been stolen many times and announced they'll go on public sale for a price of 20 euro each great success it was stocks went down quickly and they had to reorder more in the meantime one has been restituted to the corner of acdc street which is in 28914 lagarnes madrid and it hasn't been stolen since but at least as far as we know they do like their rock music there by the way there's also a street in the Gatnes named after the rock group the scorpions video video now we've heard of the cat that got the cream well here's an intelligent cat who never misses an opportunity come milking time After a long week, we all look forward to the weekend, some more than others. Finally, scammers are a right royal pain in the... <laughs> but there's one savvy dude who decided to take steps against them. Big props and kudos to Roy Jr. who said, enough is enough. Hello. Thank you for calling the CIA. You've reached our Scam and Fraud Division. All of our agents are currently assisting other callers. To further assist you, please hold while we download your incoming and outgoing call logs to be analyzed against our database of known scam and fraud operations. An agent will be with you shortly. That's what I thought. The lilac chase is a superb optical illusion that asks you to stare at the black cross in the middle of this image. It's also called the Pac-Man illusion and it has to do with negative retinal after image. And you, as you do so, you start to see the green circle making its way through the lilac ones and that's the trick. As soon as you move your eye line you can see the lilac circles again. The illusion works because the lilac and green are both complementary colours and are presented to you on a neutral coloured background. Stare at the cross again and the green moving circle appears again. The lilac circles are always there but our brain just refuses to see them. And now our brain teaser answer. Six copycats were sitting in a boat. One jumped out. How many were left? Well the answer is none. Uh, since they were copycats they all jumped out. 
Now the final word, affirmation, words of comfort and inspiration. A great post I saw recently on the Longford Eye Facebook page reminds us not to be as judgmental as we may be sometimes. If you are skinny, you're perceived to be on drugs. If you're fat, you need to lose weight. If you drink, you're an alcoholic. If you dress up, you're conceited. If you dress down, you've let yourself go. If you speak your mind, you're rude. If you don't say anything, you're snobbish. If you're sociable, you're a party animal. And if you stay to yourself, you are considered detached. You cannot do anything without being criticized, it seems. We live in a society where people can survive if they're not judging the next person. So let's build each other up instead. We are the all the best we can in this game called life. So let's help each other out. And to that end, some words on self-esteem. Accept your present situation and move on. Accept your past, your weaknesses, and focus on your strengths. Don't be too serious. Everyone can make a mistake after all. Love yourself because you are unique. And praise yourself when you succeed. Visualize your success, imagine it in your head. Set your goals and reward yourself when you complete those goals. Don't act just to please others. Don't judge others. Show courage and break your comfort zone. Play without limits. Enjoy your company. Love yourself instead of having self-loathing. Admit you're vulnerable and make your own personal mental contract to try and be more positive. So a couple of things from the last week or so I found of interest. Hope you have as well. Been a pleasure as always. Thank you so much for looking in. And until next time, take care. Bye-bye. From the home studio of Michael Birmingham.